In 1579, an African man now known by the name of Yasuki arrived in Japan. Much about him remains a mystery, it's unconfirmed which country in Africa he hailed, and there is no verifiable record of his life after 1582. But Yasuki was a real-life black samurai who served under Oda Nobunaga, one of the most important feudal lords in Japanese history and a unifier of the country. He is also the inspiration for Netflix's new anim series Yasuki O Project. From creator and director Lesson Thomas and the Japanese animation studio MAPPA, executive produced by Lakeith Stanfield, who voices Yasuki, and Flying Lotus, who produced the soundtrack. This is not the first time that Yasuki has appeared in popular culture. Author Kurusuyoshio published the children's book Kurosuke about the samurai in 1968. Yasuki also showed up as a playable character in the 2017 video game Nio. And in 2019, before Chadwick Boseman's death, it was announced that the actor would play Yasuki in a film based on the warrior's story. The Netflix anime series takes a new approach in telling Yasuke's story one that combines historical elements with fantastical components. Animation is always the medium where you can do things that real people can't do, Thomas told Time. In the show, there are plenty of giant robots, magical beasts and otherworldly fight sequences involving supernatural powers. But there are also scenes inspired by events recorded about the African samurai's life. One of the first scenes in the anime shows the first meeting between Nobunaga and Yasuki. After the feudal lord applauds him for winning a fight on the streets, he asks for Yasuki to be cleaned, thinking that his skin is covered in dirt. Did you ink your skin black? Nobunaga inquires when Yasuke's appearance does not change. I was born with black skin, Yasuki responds. This interaction is not too unlike the actual initial encounter between the men. Yasuki was brought before Nobunaga and he didn't believe Yasuke's true skin color was black, said Thomas Lockley, a co-author of African Samurai, the true story of Yasuki a legendary black warrior in feudal Japan along with Geoffrey Gerard. Lockley described this event from March of 1581. Nobunaga ordered him scrubbed. Of course Yasuke's skin remains intact, he said. Nobunaga then threw a party to welcome the man into his court. According to Lockley, Yasuke entered the feudal lord's service sometime within the next few days. The anime series references a range of other moments documented in the life of the black samurai who lived more than 400 years ago. Interest in Yasuki is bound to grow since, as Lockley says, he is widely regarded as the first ever foreigner to be given warrior status in Japan. Here is the true story of Yasuki. In 1579, Yasuki arrived in Japan in the service of the Italian Jesuit. Missionary Alessandro Valignano, visitor of missions in the Indies, in India. He had been appointed the visitor inspector of the Jesuit missions in the Indies which at that time meant East Africa, South, Southeast, and East Asia. Valignano's party spent the first two years of their stay in Japan, mainly in Kyushu. Entering 1581, Valignano decided to visit the capital as an envoy. He wanted to have an audience with Oda Nobunaga, the most powerful man in Japan, to ensure the Jesuits' missionary work before leaving Japan. The Japanese were curious to see a dark-skinned person for the first time. And wherever they went, crowds gathered to catch a glimpse of Yasuki, and some were even injured. Rumors of the big black man had spread throughout Kyoto before the party arrived, and crowds some said to exceed 1,000, flocked to the Nanbanju where they were staying, eager to see him. The missionaries feared the building would be destroyed, and some of the crowd attached to the gateway were injured or even crushed to death. These events are recorded in a 1581 letter of the Jesuit Les Fris to Laureno Mexia, and in the 1582 annual report of the Jesuit mission in Japan also by Friss. These were published in Cartas Q. Os Padres Hermos da Compañía de Jesus Escrevero. Dos Reinos de Japo y China to 1598, normally known simply as Cartas. The commotion finally subsided when Nobunaga, who was staying in Kyoto, sent his troops. It is said that Nobunaga wanted to know the identity of the man, who had caused the commotion and ordered his subordinates to bring him to him. On the 27th of March 1581, Valignano, together with Les Fris, who had arrived in Japan earlier, had an audience with Nobunaga. And Yasuki is said to have accompanied them as an attendant. Japan and the Jesuits have the following records. The Shinchiki describes him as follows. A black Zhu from the Christian country has arrived. He appears to be 26 or 27 years old. 
The blackness of his body is like that of a bull, and he is healthy and of fine physique. Moreover, he has the strength of more than ten men. The Padres came with him and thanked Lord Nobunaga for his permission to proselytize. Nobunaga's nephew gave him a sum of money at this first meeting. Lysfris's annual report on Japan states that Nobunaga also longed to see a black man, and summoned him, and Fr. Argentino took him to him and that Nobunaga, seeing a black man for the first time, refused to believe that his skin color was natural and not applied later, and made him remove his clothes from the belt upwards. Falignano describes how Nobunaga, thinking that he might have ink on his body, made him take off his clothes and wash his body. But the more he washed and scrubbed, the darker his skin became. Nobunaga then took a great liking to him and asked Valignano to give him over. He gave him the Japanese name Yasuki, made him a retainer and placed him at his side. An ancient manuscript of the Shinchiki, known as the Sanki Kakuban, handed down to the descendants of Takeichi, states, a black man was taken on as a vassal by Nobunaga-sama and received a stipend. His name was decided to be Yasuki. He was also given a short sword and a house. He was sometimes made to carry Nobunaga-sama's tools. Friss wrote in the annual report of the Jesuits, the black man understood a little Japanese, and Nobunaga never tired of talking with him. And because he was strong and could do a few tricks, Nobunaga took great pleasure in protecting him and had him roam around the city of Kyoto with an attendant. Some people in the town thought that Nobunaga might make him as Tono Lord. After becoming a vassal of the Uda clan, Yasuki followed Nobunaga to Izuchi in Omi province, where he was appointed a Kosh. Yasuki next appears in historical records on the 11th of May 1582. The Itata Diary of Matsudera Itata, a vassal of Tokugawa Yesu mentions that Yasuki accompanied Nobunaga on his inspection tour of the region after he destroyed his longtime archenemy, the Takeda clan of Kai. The description of the 11th of May 1582 states, Nobunaga-sama was accompanied by a black man who was presented to him by the missionaries and to whom he gave a stipend. His body was black like ink and he was 188 centimeters tall. His name was said to be Yasuki. On the 14th of May, Yasuki departed for Achizen province with Fris and the other Christians. They returned to Kyoto on the 30th of May. On the 21st of June 1582, Oda Nobunaga was betrayed and attacked by his senior vassal Akechi Mitsuhide. In the Hanji incident and Yasuki was serving near Nobunaga at this time. After his lord committed suicide, he went to Nich Shingosho, the residence of Nobunaga's heir, Nobutada, where he engaged the Akechi forces. Lysfris's annual report on Japan contains the following statements. A black man whom the visitor sent to Nobunaga went to the house of Nobunaga's son after his death and was fighting for quite a long time. When a vassal of Akechi approached him and said, do not be afraid, give me that sword. So he gave him the sword. The vassal asked Akechi what should be done with the black man, and he said, a black slave is an animal and knows nothing. Nor is he Japanese, so do not kill him, and place him in the custody at the Cathedral of Padre in India. There are no historical documents to show the true meaning of Mitsuhide's statement and it is not known whether it was a sign of his discriminatory mindset or an expedient to save Yasuki's life. As a result, Yasuki was sent to the Nanbanji and treated by Jesuit missionaries. It is certain that Yasuki did not die, as Lysfris wrote, five months after the Hanji incident, thanking God that he did not lose his life. However, there are no historical sources about him since then and it is not clear what happened to him. Afterwards, in 1584, Two years after the Hanji incident, an African appeared again in Japanese history. During the Battle of Okitanawade on the Shimabara Peninsula, a black man who operated to cannons and intercepted the enemy, was among the forces of Orima Harunobu, one of the daimi who dispatched the Tench Embassy. In Lysfris History of Japan, there is an account of African loading a cannon with bullets and an Indian igniting and firing them to repel the enemy on board an Orima warship. Sakai City Museum Collection, drawn in 1605 by an anonymous artist, depicts a dark-skinned man wrestling a Japanese man in the presence of noble samurai. There are various theories, some believe that this samurai is Oda Nobunaga or Toyotomi Hidetsugu, while others believe that the dark-skinned man wrestling in the center is Yasuki, and the one to his right, playing the role of a Jiji, is Oda Nobunaga. 
an inkstone box made by a Rinpa artist in the 1590s, owned by Muzu du Caramelo P.T., depicts a black man wearing high-class clothing. Thomas Lockley argues that it could be Yasuki, as he does not appear to be subservient to the Portuguese in his Portuguese costume. However, there is no hard evidence for them and they are all speculation. Therefore, it is not possible to determine whether the person in those Bebu and historical documents is Yasuki or not. Human trafficking was rampant in the world at the time, and it was not uncommon for Africans and other people from European colonial areas to come to Japan as followers and slaves of Jesuit missionaries and visitors. Nanban Bibu painted by Kano Nezen, a painter active in the same period, depicts dark-skinned followers holding parasols over Europeans. Other references to people who appear to be African can be found in various records from other parts of Japan relating to this period such as Toyotomi Hideyoshi rewarding the African for their dancing, 